Let's now turn to the proposed 3.4 billion U.S. dollar missile defense deal between China and Turkey. The bid had apparently been accepted and the deal agreed, but now, according to Reuters, Turkey wants to extend the bidding process and give a U.S. company more time to come in with a lower price. In September, Turkey said it had chosen China's FD-2000 missile defense system over rival systems from the U.S., EU, and Russia. So, what's going on here? Let's see if we can get some, get some answers with CCTV correspondent Mihal Bardavid in Istanbul. Thank you very much for joining us on China 24, Mihal. So is this latest move a U-turn by Turkey, and does that mean that Turkey is backing off from this arms deal with China? Well, it does seem that the current situation is uh, that the Turkish and Chinese deal is less likely going to happen right now. There are two main reasons for this. First of all, as you said, Yes, China did make a much lower price offer for the, uh, for the deal. However, NATO has stated that with a Chinese-designed defense system, Turkey will not be allowed into their NATO's airborne warning and control system, and they will not be allowed to use their Link 16 warning system. So if they do not use those, if Turkey does not get the chance to plug into those with the Chinese-designed system, then they will have to obtain a new warning system, which will put a new financial burden on Turkey. So that puts the, the financial advantage at a disadvantage once again. And the second factor is when Ahmet Davutoglu, the foreign minister of Turkey, he announced that they have extended the deadline. He also reiterated that for Turkey, one of the most important things was the fact that Chinese company was willing to share their technology. This was very important to Turkey. They have expressed emphasizes several times. And they have stated that when the U.S. or other companies, the bidders, revise their offers, um, they should also put this clause into consideration. So if the other bidders are also willing to share their technology, once again, um, the, the deal might change. And these two factors will put the risk much higher for the Turkish and Chinese deal to go through. Well, Mihal, do we have any timetable now as when that this deal will be finalized? It is unfortunately not clear. However, they have put the deadline for the 31st of January of 2014 for the new bidders to bring in new proposals. Right. Thank you so much for your report. Mihal, appreciate it.